There seems to be a lot of back and forth when people discuss the negotiations between BART employees and management. This can leave a lot of unanswered questions. So before you decide who you support, let's learn some facts. In 2009, BART management claimed a deficit of some $350 million. In order to help get BART back on track, the unions agreed to a freeze on all raises and significant cuts to benefits. Now, for the first time in years, BART is healthy and actually running at a surplus. Yet BART management still insists that workers must accept concessions. Here's the deal. Most recently, BART management has offered an 8% increase over the next four years. In other words, 2% a year. When you consider that the inflation rate in the Bay Area is currently at 2.1%, this isn't much of a raise at all. Furthermore, BART wants workers to pay more for health care and pensions, eating up a good chunk of their raises. In response, the unions are asking for a 4.5% increase across three years and a cost of living adjustment that keeps up with inflation. They'd also like to see smaller co-pays on pension and health care. After accounting for inflation, this would only get BART workers back to where they started in 1999. It would be a step in the right direction, but still leave most BART workers at or below what a recent nonpartisan study estimates a family of four needs to live in the Bay Area. But the most important fact to remember is that these unions represent hard-working people, men and women that have already made significant sacrifices for the past four years. They're just asking for what's fair. For more information, go to www.keepbartrunning.com.